This video covers sample insertion in the GOL 2100F, TEM, and similar models and is created in collaboration with the Michigan Center for Materials Characterization, MC Squared. Wear clean gloves when handling the sample and sample holder. Even with gloves, don't touch the end of the sample holder with your hands. Avoid breathing or coughing on the sample holder to minimize contamination. The end of the sample holder is very delicate, so treat it accordingly. Always use the support disc when you manipulate your sample in the holder. Avoid pushing down when you tighten the screw. Tighten the screw gently. Raise the end first to avoid bending it against the support disc and protect it from impact. To begin, remove the lid from the carrying case, remove the protective cap, and place the beige support disc underneath the end of the sample holder. Using a small, flathead screwdriver, loosen the screw that holds the retaining arm in place. With tweezers, move the retaining arm aside and place your sample in the sample well. Alternatively, you can use vacuum tweezers to handle your sample. Swing the retaining arm above the sample with tweezers. Gently tighten the screw. The retaining arm should be seated firmly within the sample well. Unravel the cord and lift up the sample holder, raising the end first. Lightly tap the sample holder over your work area to check that your sample is secure. Before you load the sample holder, inspect the O-rings for damage. Do not use the sample holder if an o-ring is dry, cracked, pinched, or otherwise damaged. The o-ring should be smooth and dust-free. If you see dust on the o-rings, gently wipe it away. Click Stage Neutral on the software before loading or unloading the sample holder. The TEM should always have a sample holder loaded. To unload the current sample holder, disconnect the cable, pull, rotate counterclockwise until you feel a stop, pull again, Rotate counterclockwise until you feel another stop and flip the switch to the air position. Wait until the green light goes off and pull the sample holder out while keeping it horizontal. Here is the same process from another angle. Disconnect the cable. Pull. Rotate counterclockwise until you feel a stop. Pull again. Rotate counterclockwise until you feel another stop and flip the switch to the air position. Wait until the green light goes off and pull the sample holder out while keeping it horizontal. Check the pressure indicator whenever you load or unload the sample holder. The indicator should move to the right and return to the left of the blue too. Before loading the sample holder, take note of the flat pin and the round pin, which help ensure alignment. To begin loading, line up the round pin on the sample holder and gently push until the pin makes contact. Keep the sample holder horizontal. Flip the switch to the pump position and hold the back for a few seconds. If you don't hear a puff of air, turn the handle counterclockwise to trigger the vacuum pump. Wait for the green light to turn on. After the light turns on, rotate clockwise, allow the vacuum to pull the sample holder in, rotate clockwise again, and allow the vacuum to pull again. Each time you rotate, you should feel the round pin hit a stop. When it's fully inserted, the flat pin on the handle should fit into the slot on the TEM. Remove the sample holder from the TEM using the process shown previously. To remove your sample, loosen the screw. Use the tweezers to move the retaining arm aside. Gently tighten the screw. Lift the sample holder 
and lightly tap it to remove your sample. Lower the end of the sample holder on top of the beige support. Loosen the screw, reposition the retaining arm in the sample well, and gently tighten the screw. Lifting the end first, replace the protective cap and sample holder cover, and store your sample. This procedure may vary slightly depending on the microscope, but these same basic steps apply.